Having a strong online presence is one of the key factors when it comes to running a successful online business. Whether you're starting a blog, a portfolio, an online business, or anything in between, having a good domain is essential for making sure that your website is successful. Today in this video, I'm gonna go over what exactly a domain is and show you a couple ways that you can go about registering a domain, a lot of times for free as well. Let's jump into it. So the very first thing we need to go over is what exactly is a domain name? Also known as a uniform resource locator or a URL, a domain name is essentially your website's address. Without domain names, people would have to access your website through an IP address with a string of numbers. Domain names provide an easier way to navigate websites directly or through a search engine. And a good domain helps your business be more memorable and easier to find and helps you in search engine optimization. Now, there are a lot of things you want to consider when you are choosing your domain name. First, you should make sure that it's related to your brand or site. You have to remember this is how people are going to be finding your website, so you want to make sure that when they type it in, it makes sense. You'll also want to make sure that your domain name is easy to type in and as short as possible. Since this is something people will have to type in manually, if it's too long, people just won't do it. Another consideration to think about is to opt in for a top-level domain, such as a .com when possible. These are the most common, so people consider them safe and reliable. It's widely considered that .com will likely be more effective than a .net, .biz, or .org. However, not having a .com doesn't mean that it's a deal breaker. The most important thing is to find the right domain for you. That means choosing a lesser known TLD is okay if your desired domain isn't available as a .com. Now, once you have a good idea for what you want your domain name to be, you'll have to make sure that it's available for purchase. All reputable domain registers offer the ability for you to search if a domain is available. For example, Namecheap allows you to check for potential domain names without having to purchase anything up front. One thing to keep in mind is to not get frustrated if your first pick isn't available. With thousands of domain names being registered daily, it's not out of the realm of possibility to miss out on your favorite. That said, you can easily find variations in your initial pick, with most registers offering similar options based on your initial search. Once you've found out that the domain name that you want is available, there are two ways you can go about purchasing your domain name. The first and oftentimes most easy way to do this is to check with your hosting provider. A lot of times your hosting provider will offer a free domain name when you sign up for hosting, and free is my favorite price to pay for anything. The other way you can do it is through a domain name register as well. I'll show you how to do both of these. So as I mentioned, a lot of times your hosting provider will allow you to get a free domain name when you sign up for hosting. This process is the same through most hosting providers. I'm just gonna use SiteGround as an example. So first of all, you wanna choose your hosting plan, and it doesn't matter which plan you wanna use, so we'll just use the startup plan and we'll click this one here. So as I mentioned, a lot of hosting providers will allow you to get a free domain when you sign up for hosting. SiteGround is one of these, so you can see that it'll be a free domain when we go to register it. So all we have to do is enter the domain we want. So let's say I was starting a candle company and I wanted to see if candles.com was available. From here, we'll hit continue and it'll check to see if that domain is available. Obviously this one's not gonna be available because there's already candles.com. So we can see that it's not available, but what we can do is instead of it being .com, we can choose a lot of other options here. So if we wanted to, we could see if a .us, .net, or anything else is available, or we could just be more specific with our domain. Let's say we're gonna do elegantthemescandles.com. This is a little more specific to our brand itself, and let's see if that's available. We'll just hit continue, it'll search, and if it's available, it'll tell us that it is. So we can see, congratulations, this domain is available for free, and now we can just register for our account. From here, it's as simple as putting in our information and just registering for our hosting plan and choosing any other options that we want as well. Now, if you don't want to go through your hosting provider to register your domain, or if you want to register a whole bunch of different domains, you can use a register to do that. And I'll show you how to do this on Namecheap. The process for doing this is going to be the same with whatever register you decide. But again, I'm just going to use Namecheap as an example. So again, we'll just use the same domain we used before. We use Elegant Themes Candles, and then we'll do a search. And here it's going to show us all of the different domains that are available. So we can see we can got .com, .org, .bot, .net, and a whole bunch of others. And what's awesome with Namecheap is we can add all the ones we want to our cart and check them all out at once. So let's say we wanted to have .com as well as .org and .net. We can put all of those into our cart and then check them all out at the same time. You also have the option to purchase any add-ons you want as well, such as an SSL, web hosting, VPN, and so much more. Then once you have all of the domains that you want, you can just go to your checkout, choose any of the other options you want here, and confirm your order to create your account. And really, registering a domain is that simple. Now, if you wanna follow along all the steps that I went through today, there is gonna be a blog article down in the video description. You can check that out. It goes a little more in depth as well and shows you all of the steps we covered. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Before you go though, make sure you like this video and check out some of our other content and I'll see you in the next one.